always had this feeling that we're trapped at the, <laughs> the bottom of this continent and we can't get out. You were supposed to look to Europe and be European and look at the classical arts and literature. I know more about European modernism than I know, say, about South African art history. I don't really know what my culture is as a, you know, you know, African South African kid. In terms of sound as a medium and art, it's almost non-existent. Some things that are hidden from me that I get to discover through that first step of making the mark and then just moving on. My two main kind of preoccupations in my work is issues of marginality and power relationships. It's always been easy for people to sort of separate black, white, European, African. And my fascination is, I guess, the spaces that are in between all of that. My family's been in South Africa for 11 generations. But the question remains, why am I here? And what is my place here? I was born at the height of apartheid in South Africa, I'm the product of that space. And most of the project that I do has a lot to do with like questioning, questioning. It's too altruistic to say I don't see black and white because that's not true for anyone really. Uh, but uh, you know, people are people. It's kind of a, a moot point. I'm changing a country is is there's so many levels. There's never a, a sort of nice, gentle move towards change. I'm in South Africa principally to study, also for refuge purposes. My work has been around my experiences or around my forced migration. The only, I suppose, commentary would be just the sort of mediated, sort of globalized kind of um, data, internet culture, which I reckon no part of the world is immune to that. You know, and it's interesting in terms of a South African context.